Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Correct Tech New Horizons Season 2. The last episode, we started getting our new controller set up with all the different P2P channels. And uh, yeah, I think it worked out pretty cool. Easily expandable. Obviously, if we have a huge, big square, they will uh, we'll have room for... I don't know. I haven't done the math, but lots and lots and lots of channels. Concerning each one of these is 32 channels uh, out to the base. So that is that. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. And <clears throat> we need to get our platinum line, the full line, fully automated. And that is quite an undertaking. <clears throat> but it does need to be done. At this point, we are... Moving into the assembly line, we're going to need to be getting uh, LUV parts, which require Ruridit, which is, uh, I believe, um, it's you need it from the line. I'm trying to remember the ruthenium. Ruthenium, yeah, which is gotten from this line plus the iridium. So any any parts we need. I mean that just for one motor that is uh that is a decent amount of ruridit wires that we need is it uh we get four of these no you get eight per ingot so 16 ingots for one thing so that has to be set up now originally i kind of built our thing over here um, I've decided I don't really want it here, I don't think. Um, so I'm actually going to break all this down. Uh, we'll save some of the stuff that we need because this Aqua Regia or whatever is actually recycled. Um, yeah, you don't actually lose it, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think, yeah, I'm going to... I think I'm going to break all this down, and what I'm actually going to place in this area is all the different plastics and stuff I think I'm going to do. Um, I need to get that done first, because we're going to need lots of these chemically inert things, and I am still <laughs> uh, don't have the polytetrafluoroethylene fully automated yet. Uh, usually I do two stacks at once, and that lasts me for quite a while, but... Uh, now that we're getting into all the large chemical reactors, that, um, it's really it's time to finally get this done. <laughs> I have a little bit, but yeah, it's uh, not fully automated here. So uh, yeah, let me get to doing that. I have actually changed how it is powered. I used to have a EV cable coming along here, but I have just ended up extending this LUV uh, so <clears throat> I will probably I'll probably do EV for most of this stuff I think um, the question is how much do I want to turn into I mean, this is oxygen and ethylene. We're getting ethylene from that. We're getting oxygen from that. The question is, do I really need a large chemical reactor? Uh, I probably should. You know what? Let's let's not skip on this stuff. I'm thinking we should just change this everything to. Anytime I have a little chemical reactor, let's just do a large chemical reactor. That way, if I want to speed it up or something i can always just switch out a thing all right so now that i think we're i think i know what i want to do uh these are going to be used in the platinum line i think i'm just going to start breaking this all down okay i've got everything cleared up here and got our first chemical reactor um, I did realize I forgot to put a fluid thing on this. Now, I probably should probably switch this, actually. 
so I can have it turn off when it's not needed. I'm just realizing that I probably should have put the output hatch here. All right, that is going to mess this up a little bit. I had it kind of nice and kind of nice and tidy, but I'm going to have to do this because that way I can just put the the thing right there, the fluid detector. So fortunately, yeah, we're going to have to that which doesn't look as nice does it <laughs> uh maybe i'll rearrange this really quick okay actually put the output hatch underneath as opposed to right here just to keep it and then nice and tidy all right but i think i got everything set up we got the two inputs and then the output This, this should start working, except I can never remember. I can never remember which inverted or un, not inverted. So once that hits that, it'll, you know what? I actually prefer that. Not that it matters in the slightest. I don't know. I just kind of like, as if it's getting a redstone signal, it's on. I don't know. That's just kind of what I prefer. So that is running. Let me double check. That is indeed going somewhere that it's supposed to. All right, cool. So there we go. That is our molten polyethylene. That was obviously the easiest one. But there we go. We already have 100 buckets. Now was kind of thinking here if we do i was trying to decide what to do with all these now that we're not producing it here and actually get rid of all this that i don't remember what these even did but they're all unlinked so I think that was a P2P to going out somewhere, but I don't even remember where it was being sent. Right. Uh, but I can do that. Ethylene, we can do that. Ethylene. That we don't need to worry about the oxygen. All right, so there's that. Also, do these conduits have? Hmm. These conduits actually hold fluid in them. I'm used to the ender conduits that just kind of teleport it. So, what I was trying to think is, how do we want to deal with? All the different assembly line machines with the different circuits. Um, eventually, we'll obviously get the assembly machine large scale auto assembler, but this is, I think, this is like ZPM, isn't it? I mean, this is this is pretty complicated. ZPM ZPM circuits, but. We can't actually craft them with quantum, but I obviously we can't craft up the transmission in these control circuits. Yeah, pretty difficult. Um, although they can be done in a regular assembler, it doesn't need to be done in the assembly line. But obviously these need to be done in the assembly line. Also, I just realized that is not the emitters. That's actually something different. I didn't realize that was these two together, so it's even more expensive. But these all need to be done in the assembly line. Anyway, uh, so that is the eventual way we're going to do it. But I wonder if we can do... Is it the processing array? I don't remember. Use a screwdriver to enable separate in buses. 
It doesn't work on certain machines to deal with it. <laughs> Is it if you hate GT++ or if you want <laughs> more speed later? It's kind of funny. I like that tooltip. Uh, I think we can do, if we do that, we can just put all these assembly machines in it. And then each input bus can do a different number, which is what I think we will do. Now, that will probably go over here. Which means I actually need to <laughs> sort this out. Um, Alright, I guess we'll do that. I need to sort out this room anyway. I need to at least split it into two. Because we're going to need, I don't think we'll need more than 64 channels, but we'll definitely need more than what we have. So I guess we'll put it right here. Now the processing array, I believe, is like tungsten steel. It's relatively easy to make at this point, I believe. Okay, maybe not relatively easy. It's EV, actually. All right. Those are a bit of a pain. But we have them automated, mostly. Pretty sure we have enough platinum. Um, man, I still need to get this thing going. I keep putting that off. Um, I'm probably going to do that after I get all the plastic stuff and iridium. All right, let me get this going, and we'll be back. Okay, that uh, that wasn't too bad. Once you have recipes for as much stuff as possible, it is not. And, all right, um, the power underneath here is absolutely insane. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be replacing these with IV energy hatches anyway. And then maybe I will sort that out. The big thing that's annoying me is the way I have this. I can't have AE cables going up and this running down the center. I like having them in the center, but that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. But... Uh, yeah, there we go. There we got our processing array. We do all right. Statement's done. All right. So I did the fourteen. It requires fourteen of the robust, a minimum of the machine casings, and I've on the back, as we can see, I've done as many input output hatches as possible um i did five input hatches and then or five input buses and then an output bus and then three different input hatches i don't know we'll we'll see i may need to be kind of re readjusting that i might not i may only do two input hatches i was thinking polyethylene no, I'm going to need three. Polyethylene, poly tetrafluoroethylene, and silicon rubber. What I'm thinking. Um, gone ahead and split this up. So now this side has 22 channels. This one has 11. Uh, and then we'll just kind of go from there. Probably easier if we had two rows. Of, like four rows and then... You know, we could put down the center, the cable, but I've done three, three rows of machines. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Who knows? I don't, really don't want to move stuff around, though. Um, all right. So let's try this out. We got, we've gone ahead and we have polyethylene now. We have a decent amount. I even turned it off because I didn't want to, like, run through all my resources at this point. Um, yeah, so we have 652 buckets, and then we even have, we probably have almost 1,000 buckets, actually. So we'll do that, I think. I can't remember if I put a, did I put a pump on that? I think I did. Yeah, all right. So that, polyethylene. go into one of these but this one
How do I want to do this? <laughs> the one issue is we have nine and we can only fit eight. All right, there is the molten polyethylene. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. We will, I can also, before I break all this down, I will pull all this stuff out. SMD resistor. I'm just do these one at a time so I don't screw this up with the all the different circuits. All right, I will need a bunch of these. Five. I can spell. I need a four. No! <laughs> That's the one we're doing. All right, let's get it going at least, though. Um, I was going to kind of do one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Now I'm thinking, I'm like, I need a 24 as well, don't I? 24. Yeah, four. I can't do them all, I don't think. I just don't have enough input hatches. One, two, three, four, five. And 24. That's six, right? Although we could. We could do. Let me think. One, two, three, four. We could probably. Let's do. Change the plan. We'll do. Let me craft up one more input bus. We'll switch out one of the things. We'll do polyethylene and silicone rubber, and we will get rid of one input hatch, I think. All right, so this will be five. You know what? Let's do let's put that back until I get that crafted up. Could do. We do this. I'll just. Uh, and how am I going to connect all these? <laughs> if it would be fine if it was nine or eight, but we have nine. No, oh, I don't like that. So nice and organized like that. <laughs> then I had to go uh, screw that up. Um, okay, don't worry about that. I will worry about that later. Uh, all right, so there, there. Yeah, all right. And then it said something about screwdriver. I don't really know. Let's throw this over here. Uh, use the screwdriver drill to enable separate input bus. Oh, that's probably, I know what it means. It probably means on the controller. I was thinking it meant on each thing. It probably means to do this. Input buses, buses are separated through. All right, cool. That means it will just do the same. Uh, you could probably just put one circuit in there and then it would every single input bus would just do that one but we don't want it to do that all right well i think we are i think we're good with that right
Oh, I totally forgot. We were going to do the advanced SMDs, weren't we? <laughs> All right. We're not quite at that point, but uh, eventually these will be switched over. Yeah. We just don't have all the iridium. Where is... That worries me a little bit. Oh. Duh. We need to put the assembly machine in it. Let's do this. That. There we go. So that emptied those out. Might as well not waste that. It's empty. And then we put these in here. All right, cool. And then obviously the more you have in there, the faster it goes, which is why this processing array is so powerful. You can actually, instead of doing GregTech++ machines, you can actually just do them in the processing array. Um, for example, you could put 64 wire mills in there if you want, but I don't know. I think a little bit more variety, although these are all, <laughs> they're all kind of just the same blocks, boxes, but, uh, yeah, if I, like, if I really wanted to, I could do, instead of doing the large processing factory, I could do a processing array with a bunch of laser engravers in it, and then just each each thing we would have a different lens. But I don't know, I would kind of like, it's fun working towards, you know, something a little bit cooler than that. Um, all right, so did that work? No. I don't have a thing on that, that's why. Do that but i only need the one because i'm basically moving all the uh, i already have interfaces i'm just moving them over this all right so that should have worked why didn't that is it just taking a second to sort out the it might have just taken a second to sort out the channel we should have plenty of channels over here i have them on their own separate thing all right there we go okay let's let's just try the next one and we'll see what it's like with we'll see what it's like with another thing on it Also, I need to go dump this in. I need to go dump it in the, the tank. Right. This will be... Three... Right, that was three. I, right? I don't remember. I think it was. Uh, the only annoying bit is obviously we have to make circuits for each of them. So, like, two need a one and a five, or a one and a 24 as well. Three. All right, cool. I will continue doing this now. If we throw that in there, now we have two. This should be quicker if I do the SMDs. Is this still working or is that done? No. All right. Let's 
Let's see. Did it already work? Did it already go? I don't think I should have gone that fast. No, I missed it! Oh wait, it's only 8 seconds. It's still 8 seconds. Hmm, interesting. I thought it would go faster if we had more. That was wrong. I know we can speed it up. You know, by replacing the energy hatch, we speed up the whole multi-block, which is cool. Um, so it's only using 384. Okay, let me finish doing this, and let me sort out how I want to get this all connected. We'll place the thing there, and we'll be right back. Okay, just finishing up here. Now, I did have a thought. I don't... I actually don't know if... Let me just do this really quick. Hard for me. There. Sometimes it's hard to talk and do stuff at the same time. Let's try to keep these organized. I like it when they're together. All right. Actually, I don't know if a lot of these probably don't even need to be in. A lot of these don't even need to be in this thing now that I'm thinking about it. Because, like, the pump, it doesn't need a four. Um, this is just where I had all these recipes. And as I was... Yeah, as I was just kind of going, I was like, okay, let's just dump all these in there. I could probably throw these in the other interface, but uh, I don't know. I'll I'll sort that out. I don't need to sort that out right now. All right, silicon rubber. Uh, this needs to get fully automated as well. Um, it's not fully automated yet, but it's going to go in that one. So we've got our polyethylene silicon rubber. We've got a 24, 5, 4, 3, two and one all over here now, the one question i had is is it better to have five hv ones or should i just have one ev we don't know um let's just do we'll keep doing the smds we need them we go through them a lot but i'm like i just don't that no i was like probably need to hit this because i broke it all right see that's only four seconds hmm i put the five in there is that still eight seconds i'm gonna i'll just do i'm not gonna do anything with the assembly machine yet Here, let's do so i can see i really need a wireless but that is a bit annoying at this point. That, no. There it goes. Yeah, that's only eight seconds. Although it is doing more than one at a time. All right, I just answered my question. Yeah. If you have five assembly machines in there, that's right. It does five. It'll do five of those all at once. So, yeah. that. Uh, I think I answered my question there. All right, but as we can see, we are we are slowly but surely cleaning up this main base. This feels awesome because this place has been chaotic for quite a long time. I'm getting all these channels and everything sorted. Oops. Um, yeah, that feels really good because I kind of had, as we can see, I just have like random cables coming out of every which way just to get this all connected up to the the new thing but now i can break this all down and fill this in all right 
Well, that was, I kind of got a little bit distracted here today on the processing array, but it's such a powerful multi-block. I kind of wanted to get it set up. Getting all these assembly machines all in one is pretty amazing. Unfortunately, we can't fit any more input hatches, input buses on there, but uh, we can always just craft up more of these if we want. Um, but like I said, I I would rather have the these multi blocks. I just find them I just find them like a little bit more variety than just having eighty of those in a a thing. So yeah, that is that. All right, so I'm gonna continue finishing up the plastics. We'll do poly tetrafluoroethylene. We'll do polyvinyl chloride. We'll do uh, epoxy. And do, am I going to do PBI? Probably not PBI yet. Um, but we need to get the, uh, the platinum line set up. So got quite a bit uh, to do here before we can start progressing with the the assembly line, unfortunately, but we're getting ourselves prepared for end game is pretty much what we're doing right now. Anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.